What's going on everybody, it's Jazzy TV. And as some of you may know or may not know, the Bengals have officially fired defensive coordinator Terrell Austin. Um, the news had broke earlier today. Um, Marvin Lewis came out with a statement, you know, basically saying that he wanted to shake things up, um, that he thinks this is a, a playoff team if they want to be, and we can make them be. Um, so he wanted to shake some things up, and uh, he thinks that this is the right move by letting Austin go, uh, defensive coordinator go. And, um, you know, I mean, think about it. The, since the Super Bowl era, think about that. That's a long time. Since the Super Bowl era, the Bengals are the only team to let up 500 yards plus in three games in a row defensively. 500 yards that we've let up in the last three games never happened since the Super Bowl era. So obviously there needed changes needed to be made. Now, firing Terrell Austin was that the best move? We'll see. You know, um, obviously we've had a lot of issues defensively. Yes, there's been a lot of injuries, and obviously none of us have coached in the NFL, so we really don't know what happens inside the organization and. How you know, you can say you think you know how to coach them, but you really don't. Um, but Marvin Lewis stated that he is going to be the one calling the defensive plays for now. I'm sure linebacker coach um, will have a little bit more of a say-so uh, than just the linebackers. But until we hire somebody, if we even hire somebody, Marvin Lewis said he's going to take that role. He's going to take leadership. He's going to take ownership and calling the defensive plays. Now, I don't think this is a half bad of an idea because it kind of opens up, you know, to me, I don't know how you would say it. To me, it kind of opens up the team more broad um, because obviously the players are going to take Marvin Lewis serious just like they would take any other coach serious. Um, but I think this puts a lot more um, pressure on Marvin Lewis to succeed, not only as the head coach, um, and he's obviously got bashed in the past for that and still today, but as a defense as a whole I mean if you're gonna come out and make these statements saying we can be a playoff team I'm taking ownership and our loss and I'm taking ownership and calling the defensive plays like let's do it Then you better do it man. And so You know it it's tough because you know at the same time you You know, it's a good thing and it could be a great thing but at the same time, it could be a bad thing. But they parted ways um, with Terrell Austin, and um, that's just something that they think is best for the organization. Like I said, we're not in the inside the organization, inside the building every day, at practice every day. We don't know what goes on. Um, but with how our defense has played, with being the you know worst defense in the league right now, and letting up five or three straight games with 500 plus yards, do I think it's a you know good move for now? Yeah. I mean, what else can you do? Um, we have two games coming up that are potentially divisional must-win games um, that could be and um, You know, so I think this is a this is something that can rattle the feathers of some players and um, I definitely think that you know Marvin Lewis You know is right about making some changes man. You, you got to change it up. You have to change it up It's the same sh crap every year man and so change it up, not only for yourself, not only for the players, but for the fans as well. Change it up for the organization. You want, you want to stop getting bashed, Marvin Lewis? Change it up, man. Change it up. Win some games. Go to playoffs. Win a playoff game. So, hey, I'm always going to be riding with you. I may not agree with every you know thing that you choose to do as the head coach, but I'm a Bengal fan for life, so I agree with you because right now you're my team's head coach. I can't change that. So I know a lot of you Bengals fans, you know, may not agree with this decision right here, or you may, but at the end of the day, we're fans. We can't change what they do as a team. We sit back and we hope for the best and we stay positive and we want our team to succeed. Now you can have your opinions all you want, but it's not going to make a difference in the team. So overall, I think this is a good move. It's a good start. To change it up. I hope that it goes in the right direction. I hope that it, our defense turns it around after this man next week or this week you say. Um, yeah, 
But there's also been some rumors that Hugh Jackson has been in talks with Marvin Lewis. So will Hugh Jackson come back? Who knows? Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Jazzy TV. Peace.